All right, everybody, welcome back to Alan Wake. I don't remember exactly where we are, but let's hop back in really quick and we will see where we're located. Dog my memory, hopefully. Uh, let's see. Right, we are heading to the coal mine just kill or we just passed that tractor and all the other stuff section. so all right let's uh continue on this journey see if i can figure out what the hell's going on i am uh not the greatest at uh figuring things out but i just take it as it comes so Alrighty then Oh, I'm supposed to drive? Uh, I guess let's see if there's anything around here first. Any manuscripts or whatnot. Okay, back to the truck we go. And this guy has about as much fucking stamina as I do, for Christ's sake. Run for about three seconds before you feel like you're gonna die. Little by little, without realizing it, I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Uh, the uh, texture popping is real. Driving is so awkward. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM, folks. I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass. Not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Interesting. I have to mute that music. I have noticed that with this game, I get copyright striked immediately, basically. Alright, I guess there's nothing up here, huh?
Oh. Guess I could have just driven up here. I don't even know if I'm going the right way or not. I'm just assuming that I'm going the right way. I can grab the car too. Go in here? Nope. I think I went up here during the night time. But maybe. Oh, yeah, there's another radio thing I can play. I think over here? Nope. KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. Well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or, heck, childish uh, even? There's plenty of fish in the sea. Yeah. And, and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one, she was, and she, I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but... Well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone, not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I'm not living in the past, but I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Yeah. Yeah, people get too caught up in that stuff, I think, a lot of the time. You gotta just live your life. Sometimes... You'll find what you want, and sometimes you won't. You'll find the person you're supposed to be with, or... Sometimes you're just not meant to be with somebody, and... It is what it is. I think everybody has a time in their life when they are, uh... Ready to be with somebody, and they'll find the right person. I 100% believe that. As cliche as it sounds, I do think that you will uh, find the person that you're supposed to be with when you're kind of least expecting it. What have we got in here? Have they in here before? I don't remember. Hmm. No, guess not. had been a disappointment. His boss had made Wake Out to be something special, but Maude hadn't been impressed. He'd gotten a good long look up the wife, though, and he liked what he saw. Maude had fantasized about goading Wake into a fight, but it hadn't happened. Still, he'd get his chance to see if the writer had anything in him. He'd been promised as much. 
was Mott. Uh, sometimes I wonder if I ever truly pay attention. Or if it's just a future thing that hasn't happened yet. It totally the possibility. Because that seems to be a lot of what's been happening. I was early. I was supposed to meet the kidnapper at noon in the main building. The coal mine was quiet. It was a museum now. Meeting him at noon time, huh? I feel like I'm potentially missing a lot of manuscripts, but I don't. But I was stuck there for a second. I think there's probably a lot of manuscripts that were hidden along this route, but I don't really feel like taking the time to go and search for them all. Which now sounds very counterintuitive to what I have said in many other videos, but I feel like I stand around a lot in this game, as it is, just listening to random stuff, so I'd rather not bore you guys more by wandering around all the useless areas. Probably doesn't have a manuscript. Bright Falls Cold Mine Museum. Oh, manuscript. With Nightingale gone and the night wind blowing in through the broken studio window, Maine stared at Sarah. The sheriff looked away. Maine's voice shook with barely controlled anger. That boy's doing more drinking than thinking. I hope you know what you're doing, Sarah. He's got a sickness in his eyes. You take my word for it. He wants Wake for a reason. And it's not for anything good. Sarah. So Maine is the radio guy. Sarah's the other, like the town pop. In 1970, a volcanic eruption below Cauldron Lake, while relatively minor, caused most of the deep mining tunnels to collapse or flood. 32 miners lost their lives in the calamity, and all mining around Bright Falls came to a final stop. Many of now many of the remaining buildings are as historical landmark. I didn't want to go outside. It's cutscenes. Cops had to be looking for me. The noon sun turned the place into a sauna. The day dragged on. Different scenarios ran through my mind. Ways of how I'd torture the kidnapper to get Alice back. Or the different horrible things he could have done to her. I imagined her dead. I had no way of knowing she was still alive. It was killing me. I was running on blind hope. It was all a waste of time. The bastard never showed up. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Wake, where the hell are you? Change of plans. You know where Mirror Peak is? It's a big mountain north of where you are. You follow the path from the mine, you can't miss it. There's a lookout point there. I'll be waiting. I'm through being jerked around you by you. You want to see your wife alive? Because if you do, you better watch what you say to me. Do we understand each other? I want to talk to Alice. Yeah, and I want the manuscript. Don't keep me waiting, Wake. Hello? Hello? Ah! I'm going to kill him. I had to get to Mirror Peak. Okay, door unlocked now. Fuck. That jumped the shit out of me. It was close. Maybe closer than ever before. I'm supposed to jump down there. Yep. Okay.
truck in it. Hell yeah. Ammo is full. Oh. Interesting. So I'm assuming there's no other way out of here, which means that there's nothing else in here. So time to potentially fall to my death. Meet reach mirror peak. Look out. All right. When Thomas Zane fell for Barbara Jagger, it happened fast. She was young, vibrant and beautiful, full of life. He had never been a very happy man, and without any seeming effort, she had changed all that. Zane felt good for the first time in his life. Everything she did was another piece of a jigsaw puzzle he hadn't even known he'd been missing. And best of all, she made the words flow, strong and sharp. She was his muse. Hmm. That was fast. Son of a bitch. That was interesting. Flashbangs. Oh. 
Well, that was a nice waste. I really wish this game would stop auto f moving the camera back to the other side. That's really obnoxious. So I want to look over his left shoulder, and I don't like that view. The only way to reach the hillside ahead was to go through the building. I had to find a way to avoid electrocution. City is up. Now I gotta make my way back over there. Time to drive.
Throwing knives at me, axes, whatever you want to call them. Alright, where are you? Okay, that must be the last of them, I would assume. Oh, nope. Maybe you were the last of them? Maybe I'm supposed to just make a run for it. I think that's what I was supposed to do. Just make a run for it. where I came from, wasn't it? No one in the dark. Well, that's clearly obvious. Can't trust anyone at this point. They're all pretty freaking creepy, this town. Um, but where am I supposed to go? There's a manuscript. How do I get in there? Oh, there's... I even saw the ladder earlier. God damn it. Follow. I want the manuscript first. Weak, touched by the dark Some presence. Some of the Taken retained echoes of their former selves, but these were just the nerve twitches of a dead thing. 
Nothing remained but a shell covered and filled with darkness. In most cases, these puppets were enough for the purposes of the dark presence. But for anything more elaborate, Oops. as with the writer, it was different. It needed his mind. And so rather than taking him over completely, it merely touched him. Sting? Okay, so these things are... Well, this thing, darkness, is trying to take over our mind. Or our body, I guess. Just a little bit. A little bit loud in my ears sometimes. To go in here then. I assume. Yep. Flashbangs. There was no way shit. the flashbang grenades were standard power company equipment. <laughs> what do you mean? I don't even know what clearing these things do, or if it's even worth my time. I assume it is, but I don't know what the purpose of them are. here then anything death dismemberment or psychosis oh jesus i was not expecting you to follow me all this way here So the aiming in this game is very strange. Can't like lock on or anything. It's just like aim and hope you hit the right thing. Really wish I could drive this. to make it easy. Probably wasted it, but it's fine. I think there's got to be something up here. Don't know how I'm gonna get up there, maybe? Ooh, manuscript. I see you. I stared through the bars of the jail cell. 
Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here, all the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. Hmm. Interesting. Wait, what did that say again? I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Raymond Chandler. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. It was Raymond. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side. Ooh, I'm so bad with paying attention to games. Apparently. Or again, it's going to be somebody that I find very soon. Thermos. Okay. All the road. Yes. Oh. Secret thingy over here. Look at this first. Oh. Oh. It. Rolls are so weird sometimes. Damn. Flashbangs. Woohoo. Trust no one in the dark. Yep. Oh! Uh, okay. Wasted two of the flashbangs I just got, but that's okay. Ooh, light for healing. Although I don't even really need the healing because I'm already at full HP, but... Do you want the shotgun in, though? What's this do? What we got in here? Anything? I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough... I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Hold down B to switch to pump action shotgun. Eh, I don't think pump action shotgun is uh, better. Maybe I'm wrong though. Guess we'll find out. Uh. God damn it. Fuck you.
God damn it. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. Let me try the pump action shotgun. I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Try this way then. Oh, are you serious? Right behind me? Damn. Oh, fuck. So it shoots faster, but not necessarily better. I'm almost out of fucking bullets. But I want to see what's in this freaking place over here, so we're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Let's just continue up. Checkpoint. Woohoo. The dark presence was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Going for something. The graveyard shift may cause cancer. Ah. 
Fuck you, you bitch. that I wasted that. was dead a ghost town had been for decades maybe a century <laughs> freaking cars and shit Things were never as simple in real life as in fiction. I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block. Something to fight. Something to lash out on. There wasn't. I was filled with doubt. I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself. Angry at Alice. Angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Mm -hmm. Alright, what else is gonna come flying at me now? Uh, Grey Peak Gorge, originally founded in 1928. The Grey Peak Gorge mining town was one of the permanent settlements the Bright Falls Mining Company built for its workers. The nearby graveyard is a testament to the dangers the miners faced on a daily basis. Most of the men who lost their lives over the years uh, here were buried there, a grim rem reminder to be careful for those who remained. Grey Peak Gorge was abandoned almost overnight when Bright Falls Mining Company closed its doors in 1970. Maximum amount of batteries. Oh boy.
the structures to your advantage. Oh, fuck. That one took a lot longer than I thought. I know there's batteries back here that I can grab, so... Hello? Grab them? You? the next checkpoint I find I'm going to end the episode which is probably going to be very clean. One of them. Dermis. Be the keys to get inside. I think I see anything else. Safe haven. Be a cutscene. Oh, no. Okay. He's gonna flicker on, yep. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Sting. Checkpoint. Oh. Oh,
didn't see it say checkpoint reached, so... Ladder. Kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Hmm. Flare gun ammo. Flare gun is like OP as shit. Checkpoint. Okay. All right. We will end the episode here since we're at uh, just a little over an hour. And uh, we will reach, hopefully... Oh, actually, we're in the silver mine. So I guess we have to exit the silver mine first, and then we'll make, make our way back to the peak. Or the, the uh, lookout. So uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this one, and uh, have a great day.